Hello, everyone. We start tonight with racial disparities in policing. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. It's a national problem, and California is not immune. Research shows police handcuff, search, or detain African American people more than any other group. As our race and culture reporter Candace Red explains, African American youth experience that same kind of treatment at higher rates. In California, racial disparities in policing persist year after year. Traffic stops are driving a lot of the disparities. An annual state report shows black people are disproportionately stopped by the police. Most stops are marked as reasonable suspicion. Black people are overrepresented in stops not leading to enforcement, which means not even a warning was issued. Um, and this especially is true when the stop is more intrusive, which is for example, a person being asked to step outside the vehicle or being put in the back of a patrol car or handcuffed. Last Tuesday, Sacramento police pulled over a pregnant mother at gunpoint with her eight-year-old son in the car. I just proceeded to listen to instruction and I did instruct my son, just stay here, keep your seatbelt on, don't say anything. Shawnee Stewart tells ABC 10 she was scared. That's when I looked in my rearview mirror and I seen that they had guns pointed towards the car. And then that's when I did react and I, I did start to get nervous, break down, I got scared. Sacramento police said they mistook the child for a wanted suspect. An eight year old, he's nothing but three feet, maybe three feet 10. Earlier this year, the city conducted an audit of the Sacramento Police Department regarding misconduct complaints, mostly stemming from traffic stops. Police Chief Kathy Lester responded to the audit during a city council meeting back in June. We do agree on some very fundamental aspects of this report. We agree that our department can and must do better to meet our standards with every stop and encounter. And we agree that there are evolving best practices in law enforcement and we must continually seek to adopt these. Research shows black people, including the youth, have the highest rate of being searched, detained, handcuffed, and removed from a vehicle in California. The only way to solve it is to talk about it. And to, and to realize it, that, that it's actually happening. Darren Bell lives in South Sacramento and wrote this book titled The Talk. The Talk is the conversation that parents of Black children have to have, to have with them at too early an age to prepare them for a world that sees them differently than it sees their white friends. In the book, he opens up about his experience being profiled by the police in Los Angeles at six years old. He says he was playing outside with a bright green toy water gun. And I bent down to fill it, to refill the water gun in a puddle. And that's when I heard somebody say, drop the weapon. I looked up and it was a police officer. My first thought was, he's playing with me. But then I saw him reach for his gun. The next thing I knew, I was just, I had my eyes closed and I was just wishing he would go away. Um, and hoping nothing would happen, and I was frozen. I was completely frozen. Eventually, he left. His message to law enforcement? That all children, whether they look like you or not, are precious. So how do we make law enforcement the law enforcement that we need? Former Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn says it takes the police and community working together. Quite frankly, stop the division, because the division doesn't work. Definitely law enforcement is by no means innocent and has played their fair share in it. But all of these things that we talk about, major systems like law enforcement, the criminal justice system is so intertwined with the rest of society. You cannot just think you can address law enforcement um, and expect their the, the issues to go away. Catalyst California is a nonprofit that works to transform public systems. And our policymakers must show leadership when it comes to traffic safety by ensuring an end to racial profiling and police violence. They say one solution is to invest in community-based programs like violence intervention and youth development. We must recast our approach and no longer rely on law enforcement agencies as our primary, if not sole, solution to keeping communities safe. ABC 10 reached out to Attorney General Rob Bonta's office for an interview. We did not hear back. We also contacted the Sacramento Police Department for comments. We were told Chief Kathy Lester was not available.